Hey friends, hey family, como estas? Bienvenidos. It's your girl back with another video and happy holidays. I hope you guys are having a great one. This is the intro for a series that I'm doing the best and worst of 2019. I wanted to share with you guys what I loved, what I didn't love, and I'm doing three videos. I'm doing the best of hair care, and that is for curly, straight, relaxed, natural, whatever you are, girl. Check that video out. I'm also doing the best and worst of skincare and the best and worst of makeup. I am doing all three. This is the intro for all three videos because you're going to have a chance to win the giveaway. If you look at the end, if you watch the video till the end, I'm going to ask you a question. You comment in each one of the videos. It's going to boost your chances of winning. So I hope you guys enjoyed this series. And without further ado, let's get into the videos. I will leave links of all the things that we're talking about today down below. So don't forget to check out the description box. It's going to give you that and the info for the giveaway at the end of the video. Let's get into this. I'm going to start off with, <laughs> should I start off with the worst or the best? Let's start off with the worst. Of course, these are the best and worst in my opinion. This is based upon my hair and let me get, let you guys know I do put it down in the description box but I do have high porosity hair. My curl pattern is like 3C4A. I have some 4B around the perimeters of my hairline. Yes I have three things going on in curl patterns, textures going on in my hair with my hair. I also have fine thin hair and it's I would say medium density it might be more density on the low side you know as you get older that density kind of like loses it I know some people are like just blessed like that but that's not me so just want to let you guys know about my hair I do have kinky curly hair um, I do have it back because I did wash my hair last night it's drying but I did come with a little bit of you know a cute little hat for today y'all this is the most memorable worst product that i reviewed this is the matt miss wait uh, this is madam cj walker hella drenched hydration cream co-wash y'all i've been trying to scrape this out because this was twenty dollars at sephora it wasn't worth the money it's 7.3 ounces if y'all want to see the review go check it out but i did not like this it was thick the description and what it did for your hair was very ambiguous especially the ingredients and i'm an ingredients hoarder you know especially when you are talking about natural hair the ingredients tend to be more expensive the products tend to be more expensive right so you want to make sure if you're getting a quality product that the ingredients are the bomb I don't think that they were the best in my opinion and um, yeah I just did not like this and you'll be able to tell in that video but this was the worst co-wash shampoo that I have tried probably in my entire probably um most memorable I'm just saying worst probably the worst deep conditioner that I have tried this year is the Shea Moisture Fut Fruit fusion coconut water weightless hair mask and it's for fine to medium hair hello it's supposed to be for my hair did not like this my og my favorite is the high porosity which i feel like it's very very comparable a lot of people that are relaxed love that i do have a review of that one i, I just i'm trying to replace it and you know fix it y'all but this did not work i felt like this did not function as a deep conditioner and <laughs> no it was no hydration whatsoever like my hair still felt dry it's like what's the point girl that's what missy Palo was like what's the point okay no bueno para me the worst deep conditioner it was a waste of money the worst gel now when i say worst hold on hold on when i say worst i don't mean that this is the worst gel ever this is just the worst gel that I have used this year. In addition, my hair started to take a change with that main choice. It started getting itchy and flaky. So it's something in there that irritates my scalp. So definitely that one's pretty bad. This one does the same thing. So I need to look and see if they have some of the same ingredients. But 
Since then, I have learned how to work this. And that is not to put it on my scalp. Not to say that I'm putting gel on my scalp anyway, but you know when you rake it through. Um, I keep this one, I try to keep this one away from my scalp. And the other thing I have learned is that um, there are certain ones that I can pair with this. It needs a very moisturizing, it needs to be very, very moisturized, my hair, before putting this on. Otherwise, this just flakes up like nobody else's business. But if I use something like castor oil or I use like one of my fa favorite heavy oils and then I use like a very like moisturizing leave-in, then this has no problem. But this was the worst. It was. And I did do a review. So if you want to check it out, definitely. Let's move in. I think those were the only ones I want to say. But let's move into the best of 2019. Let's start off with my favorite edge control. I was like, I was almost forgot this. And then when I saw it, I was like, oh, oh, girl, yes. Ooh, wow. This touchdown, ultimate touch edge tamer. It's non-flaking tame frizz. Now, let me tell y'all something about this. I bought this from the beauty supply store. I think that this is very uh, frequent in the beauty supply store. It costs $4. It smells like tangerine. It smells amazing. Um, it just looks like a wax. But the great thing about this edge control that's different than most edge controls that I have ever tried is that this one, you can reshape the hair. A lot of times, once you put down an edge tamer, it's just like gone. And it is slicks back I can actually slick this back using my hand with no brush and that's what makes it really really great it has a delicious vitamin scent as argon oil and tea tree in here but it says tame frizz non flaking it holds for 24 hours y'all this is no lie if you want to slick back your ponytail or give yourself an instant facelift this is for you Let's talk about the products that I use for my straight hair because this will probably be the fastest. <laughs> I'm trying more products for my straight hair. Y'all know I did do a couple of passes of straight wear my hair uh, straight this year. I'm probably going to do that, which I need to come with my goals for 2019 a video. So look for that coming up. But definitely the Redken Extreme Anti-Snap Anti-Breakage Leave-In Treatment for Distressed Hair. Now, I've had this for months. I think I got this like last year, but really took the time to try this and really ended up liking this. I got it through a recommendation of my girl Kiko Beauty here on YouTube. She is, her hair is relaxed, but she was natural. And I love the fact that I can get a perspective of both. I've been relaxed before. My hair is natural now, but I'm not relaxed. She was natural, but she's relaxed now. I feel like, especially when it comes to high porosity hair, a lot of relaxed products or products for relaxed hair really work well because it's very porous hair. The usually the whole point of a relaxer, by the way, is to break down the structure of the hair so it relaxes itself from the curl. So a lot of we have the same properties, although our hair is still curly, it's still very porous. So I've noticed that a lot of the products that she likes and a lot of the products that relax hair really likes. I like this is the Redken All Soft. Now, I don't think I talked about this last year because I really didn't straighten my hair last year. I probably did it like once, maybe twice, maybe a blowout, but I have really been enjoying this and I also believe that Marguerite talked about Joyco. I'm going to try some of her other products that she loves for her relaxed hair, but I was trying to get through these and I'm halfway through both of these so I can actually see where I am. But I really, really do enjoy this. I can even tell the difference when the conditioner. Usually, I can't. But the Redken All Soft makes my hair even softer than what it really, what it already is. And it's lightweight. I feel my hair has some volume and some movement after using this. Because sometimes they weigh them down. And it cleanses the hair really well. And it has a very pleasant scent. So I really enjoy these. So I have to talk about this. This is the Tresemme Naturals. This is the Radiant Volume Conditioner. This is for, this is their Naturals. So this is a silicone free conditioner. 
I have loved this as a leave-in. I have used it as a leave-in. I have also used it as a rinse out and a detangler. I think that when you are going for a bang for your buck, trust me, this is such a great product. Now, I there was another product that they used to have that they didn't didn't make anymore, but I saw this in Big Lots. And the reason why I want to talk about it in this product in this video is because number one is my favorites number two if you're at big lots and you see something like this grab it this is so good i actually have another one that i'm going through but i'm trying to savor it and really like save it it has such a pleasant scent this one is a sweet orange and lemongrass grab it you guys especially if you are natural and you are having issues with detanglage if you have entangles issues, then this is something you want to pick up. Even if you have like a young daughter or you're a young child that has curly hair that you have issues with detangling, you can just take this, add it into a bottle of water, um, into a spray bottle and add some water just to loosen this because it is um, a bit thick, I feel like. And you can just like loosen the curl but you can also leave this in i don't think this one contains alcohol this one has extract peel i mean it has some really great things and my hair was it was a bomb wash and go when i did this so i really enjoyed this <clears throat> okay so i'm gonna go in the order of how i apply products to my hair and in terms of curly hair and I talked about this one being a detangler, so I do use this. I have used this as a leave-in, just to one just just to see if I could. But I do prefer it more as a detangler and something to like get the tangles out, especially when I've let my hair go past the time I usually and you know it really tangles up. This one is a great detangler. Um, these two oils have been my favorite. This is the Soma Harvest Avocado Oil Spritzer. Now, y'all. I found out that you can use this in the kitchen as well to eat. It says just a bit of avocado flavor for your cooking. But I found this in the section at Marshall's where the hair products were. So I was like, I'm using this for my hair. Not necessarily some Sonoma Harvest, but avocado oil my hair loves. It's that great balance about it's not jojoba oil, which is too thin. And it's not heavy like castor oil. But this makes a great blend. It gives a different type of shine to my hair. And I like the way my hair feels when I use this. So I am going to incorporate more avocado oil in my oil blends and using it on its own. This is so good. This is so good. This is the Mayel Mint Oil, Almond Oil. And it says promote healthy oil and scalp. This feels so good on my scalp, you guys. The mint makes it feel so refreshing, but this gives my hair a shine that I absolutely love. I can use this on my hair. I usually add it when it's when I'm doing a wash and go and when I'm washing my hair, whether I do a twist out, because it is on the thinner side, but I like that because if I want some more volume, I will go for a lighter oil but I don't want it too light so this has been so good and I can use this on dry hair really really love this I do have a backup of this although I'm finished with this and I don't know what this black stuff is although I'm done with this I do have a backup I really enjoy this and I will repurchase this but this has been so good so good see I told you I was gonna forget things right <laughs> I just gave y'all my favorite oils well before I use oils I wash my hair right these have been my favorite I would say co-washes now I've ranked my co-washes forgive me you guys I have to rank my other products I did just do declutter miss on my channel and you guys can check that out but those are the things that I got rid of but these so good this is from the drugstore you can pick it up from target you can pick it up i've seen it at sally's this is the long and luxe grow wash cleansing cream conditioner by as i am now i got my black friday coming but you guys recommended the jbco version of this and hopefully i'll be 
using it. I don't have my Black Friday, all of my items in, so that haul is not going to happen until I have everything, you guys. But this is so good, and it smells so good. It, has, it This one is the pomegranate and passion fruit. This is so good. It says it's for three slash four hair types. I don't go by hair typing, to be honest with you guys, and we can talk about that more in 2020. But I absolutely love this. I feel like it is so worth your money. And it's going to detangle. It's going to really make your hair feel nice. And it doesn't strip. Now, the Coconut Co-Wash is a really good one. I will use that one if I need some cleansing done to my hair. This one does not strip it as much. And it's okay. It doesn't give you that your hair feels clean, but it feels moisturized. And it detangles. It detangles better than the Coconut Cream or the coconut co-wash y'all know what i'm trying to say but this is their grow wash i really love it and actually it is my i will ranking my co-washes go check that one out i'm just saying this briogeo changed my mind about briogeo okay i'm like briogeo you kind of pricey but this be gentle be kind avocado quinoa co-wash is the bomb i really like it i enjoy it so much and it's very creamy and it makes my hair feel very very clean and i don't know it's a feeling that i get from this co-wash that i don't i don't know if i really can explain it but i really really do enjoy it and i'm so glad that i got a chance to use it will i purchase again uh yeah but can we say sell okay this is a gift that i would want you know for my curly you know somebody's gonna give me a curly gift curly girl gift this is a really great one and lastly i wasn't gonna put this in my video in this video i wasn't gonna put it in here but i have to talk about this because every time i think about how my hair felt i keep going back to this this is the pattern beauty the Tracy Ellis Ross brand. This is the hydration shampoo. Gently cleanses and hydrates. This really felt really, really good on my hair. If you like a, a foam cleanser. <coughs> excuse me. If you like a foam cleanser that's going to hydrate your hair. I highly recommend this. I really, really liked how my hair felt. And these two are no poo. But I, some, every now and then you want something that's going to lather up and it's going to take out all the debris. Especially when I use an edge control. I like using something like this because I feel like I need to see the foam in order to know where I, you know, I got out the makeup. I got everything out. Although I know that these do this. Sometimes you just need the proof. You know what I mean? So I really did enjoy this. And at first I was like, I was kind of torn because I was like, I like it. Would I repurchase it though? And I was like, yes, I would because it really, really felt nice on my hair. To be honest with you, to be totally honest with you, I feel like this is a level up. If you've ever tried the Shea Moisture High Porosity Hydration Shampoo, that one's really good. But I do feel like that this is a level up from that. So if you want something similar, get that one. But if you can afford the Pattern Beauty, I, have, I highly recommend it. Okay, we're going down the stretch, you guys. We're almost at our last category, but before we do that, I have to talk about leave-ins. This, it, it seems like I have like a drugstore and a high-end alternative, and I definitely want to bring that into the new year, 2020, of doing that, doing a drugstore, trying drugstore. I hope they come out with more glycerin-free products just overall, but especially at the drugstore because it's so hard to find glycerin-free products. However, this is one of my favorites. I do have a video on this and Maui Moisture Heal and Hydrate Shea Butter Hair Mask. I know it's a deep conditioner, but you guys, I love this as a leave-in as well. I like it for both. It's kind of like the curl. It's like my Holy Grail Curl Rehab where I can use this as a deep conditioner and a leave-in this one is thick but girl it's thick it smells so good it's healing hydrate it moisturizes it's glycerin free i love it so much my hair enjoys it it gives me bomb washes wash and goes bomb twist outs it gives me bomb hair 
I love it so much. So I'm putting it in the leave-in category because I do use it as a leave-in. I really enjoy it. Love it so much. Another one that I've tried, I got this from Planet Beauty. By the way, you can get this from the drugstore and from Ulta. But the Chlorine, this is the leave-in cream with desert date. This is phenomenal. Now, I, I believe that they changed their packaging, but this is glycerin free and my hair really enjoyed this. And it penetrates the hair fiber to repair and transform the hair, leaving it supple and silky. It's silicone free, you guys, as well. And it coats the hair without making it feel weight, weight down. So not only is it glycerin free, it's also silicone free. I know some of you guys need to know that. But it's a high-end product. Um, this is really, really good. A little bit goes a long way. And I really love how it feels throughout my hair. I got a bomb wash and go using this. And um, it's... It's really, really good. I'm going to repurchase it after I finish this, but really like it. The last and one of my favorite categories are deep conditioners. I absolutely love deep conditioners. So I have three to share with you guys. And the first one I'm going to talk about is the most inexpensive, the fastest. This is like your flash mask, okay? This is the Garnier Fructis Smoothing smoothing treatment one minute hair mask phenomenal went through all one through of these already this year but this is so good now i'm trying the protein one and i just saw the coconut one i want to try all of them but this one feels so good y'all avocado has been my favorite this year right eating them and having them in my hair i can see the reason why this has avocado this has avocado. I love avocado oil. I just have been enjoying avocado and I see that my hair really likes it. So this is amazing. It's 98% natural derived ingredients. It's silicone free. It is, it's silicone free, paraben free, free of artificial colorants. It's vegan and it's 94% bio, uh, biodegradable formula. Love it. I really enjoy this. Um, if it was glycerin free, I probably, is this glycerin free? No, that's glycerin. I probably would use it as a leave-in, but I really do enjoy this. I really highly recommend this. If you need something that's inexpensive, you don't have time, try this. Next one that I absolutely love, and I will repurchase it over and over again, is the Mayel Mugongo Oil Hydrating Conditioner. I talked about this of uh, being one of, the fa one of my favorite um, hydrating deep conditioners for my high porosity hair. I absolutely love it. I It's amazing for detangling and hydration. It is so good. So, so, so good. I can't, I need to rank my deep conditioners because this one is up there, but I really enjoy it. Another favorite of mine, you guys, I already talked about the Maui Moisture being a hydrating mask that I love. So, Really, I love, love trying new new hair masks. So definitely give me some suggestions down below. Leave-ins, moisturizers, and deep conditioners. This Pattern Beauty Intense Intensive Conditioner for Tight Textures is amazing. I'm totally getting the large one, the large tub. I really, really enjoy this. Tracy Ellis Ross, I saw she had three different types of conditioners i thought that was genius i love how she has one that's kind of customized but girl i need the big kahuna and so i love this one this is i feel like the most i think this one is the most intense it's really really good i highly recommend it i love it so much that my friends are my favorites my best and worst of 2019 again thank you so much for checking me out don't forget to hit the subscribe button i would love for you guys to be a part of the missy q family over here and I didn't forget. I didn't forget the giveaway, y'all. Y'all thought I forgot. So let's talk about this giveaway. If you have waited and you went through this whole video and you are looking at this giveaway right now, put the curly girl, you know, the emoji, the double loop. Do you know where it is? Yes. Put it down in the comments down below and your Instagram or your email address because I definitely want to comment and contact the winner. I'm going to leave the details below, but my question to you guys is, because this is open internationally, ah, what part of the region 
what part of the earth what country do you live in and if it's hot is it is it is it hot and humid is it dry cold what kind of weather do you have because it's so important to surround and really center your hair care products and purchase your hair care products ba based upon where you live i kid you not it is a life saver a game changer for me definitely put that down in the comments i'm gonna pick a winner and i'm going to select the winner on january 1st you have until december 31st 11:59 pacific standard time to enter this giveaway and you might want to check out my other best of beauty um, and my best of skincare yes because i am going to be giving away products i haven't been giving away things this entire year and i tis the season to be giving you guys i'm in holiday attire we have to give something away yes i love giving away to you guys this is my appreciation for you guys hanging out chilling out chit chatting with your girl melissa q on the channel thanks so much for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell because we're gonna have some fun in 2020 okay and i'll see you in the next video bye guys